Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to play Baseball 9 on a computer. So I'm using a PC Windows 11 on the computer. Um, this either if maybe you don't have access to your phone, maybe you're traveling, you only have your laptop, or you just broke your phone, can't use it for some reason. Bluestacks is pretty much a desktop app that is an emulator of mobile devices Android. So it lets you download various games and apps from the Google Play Store to use on this virtual launcher. So we can see here, once you get to the blue stacks page, you can just type in baseball nine, download it, and make sure that either your account is connected to something, either like Google Play or Facebook or whatever other ID that they allow you to log in with. If you're using a guest account on your phone, you're not gonna be able to have a profile to log into to sync and access this page. So once you get blue stacks, we're just going to go and try to set this up. So since Baseball 9 is obviously a touch game, right? You use the touch controls on a phone or tablet. You tap to move the joystick, tap to do that. How do you convert those controls into PC? So on a PC, you have a mouse and keyboard, probably a mouse and keyboard, or maybe you have a controller. You can use the controller function to joystick to move similar to like an Xbox or if you're playing MLB The Show, but I'm gonna show you how to set up uh, the mouse and keyboard. It's a little bit harder than just a controller. You should be able to map that, but once you get into BlueStacks, go over here to the settings, the game controls and the controls editor. Now, what this is gonna let you do is assign different actions and buttons to the game. So you see here, if whatever you want to use to press ready, so I'm assuming if you don't have this setup right, you have to press ready and then you have to move it and then you have to go back all with your mouse to press swing. But we can assign key buttons either on your keyboard or mouse or if your mouse has side buttons here that you can use. You're probably not going to want it to assign it to the main button, but if you have extra buttons on your mouse, you can assign it to those. So tap spot. So whatever you put here, it's going to whatever key you press, it's going to tap on that location so we're going to drag the tap spot i'll get rid of this tap spot and we're going to drag it over to here so once i press let's say we bind it to a every time i hit a it's going to hit this button so for me i have a mouse with side buttons so i'm just going to map it to one of these side buttons here and then every time i click that button on my mouse it's going to hit the ready so then it's pretty easy now you just hit save and then for just purely a mouse see all i need is to be able to tap that button you can see here when i click this button it clicks the ready and then when i click it again it swings right let's see that again when i click this button right here it cooks ready and then when i click it again it swings so how i'm going to move the bat is i'm going to just move my mouse right you see here i click the button and then i can move it boom swing so then when I want to move my bat, I can also just click, right? This is just a normal click to cycle through. I have just a click on the left side and then this button on the right side. So I don't have to switch back and forth. So I click that and then I can hold this and click and then drag to hit the ball. Once again, if you don't have extra buttons on your mouse, you can assign that to whatever keyboard key on your keyboard. You can do like an arrow key, the enter key, whatever you want. And that's pretty much all you need to do to get it set up. Now, when you run bases, you can just click like that. And then if you have to like steal base or go back or go forth, it's it's all pretty easy just with the mouse. So all you need is, is either a mouse with side buttons or a mouse and keyboard on your PC, and you can set it up pretty easily. So now we jump into pitching. Similar thing, right? We have that still bound to the right button. So every time I hit, hit this mouse button, it's going to press the pitch, and then it's going to throw... And then I'm going to throw that, keep my mouse over here on the left side to aim my pitch. And then same with this, you can either click down to select or you can just click this to cycle through just as you would on a phone. Once again, pitching is pretty self-explanatory. You press a button and then if you need to do anything else, maybe like field the ball, you just you can click the bases with your mouse. So we're just dumping into some sample gameplay here, but you can see here if I want to you know, select this, you can just click on it or you can cycle through just as you would once again and then click that and then I would tap that again to hit to actually swing the bat. You can put this here in full screen mode now so you get the full screen up. But 
some of the advantage I like of playing on blue stacks on the app, uh, close call at first, is that it's a lot bigger screen. Right, for if you, for example, if you, it doesn't even matter if you have any sort of monitor, it's going to be bigger. Or if you have a just your laptop screen, it's still most likely bigger. See, for here, base running, I can just click the bases. It's most likely going to be larger than whatever, however big your phone screen is, right? The biggest phone screen is probably what, seven inches max? Uh, a usual desktop monitor, anywhere from 20 inches to 27 is pretty normal. You can go higher up to like 30 inch, 42 inch. People use like TVs nowadays as monitors or even a laptop, right? Some of the smallest laptop screen, 10, 11, 12 inches. You can get all the way up to a 17 inch laptop. It's a lot easier to see things, right? When the pitch comes in where you're hitting, you could see all the finer details without having to squint on your tiny screen. And it also lets you customize the options. I know. I've been playing this for a couple days now with the mouse and it does seem easier to control than with your thumb on a tiny joystick or even on a tablet. It's not going to be as big as this and for you controller players, you are also able to, you know, pair up a controller just like you would be playing MLB The Show, any of that. You can map different buttons. So like I said before, you can map buttons to maybe you want A to be the swing button. You can map A. If you want to um, map the different bases, you can put like Y is second base, B is first base, and then when you click that button, it will tap the base, and then you can use the joystick to control the circle. So it's very customizable, and you just play on the PC. Uh, you don't have to deal with like overheating issues. Your phone heats up when you play. Maybe your phone runs out of battery. If you're playing on a laptop or a computer, you're going to be able to play longer as well. If it's plugged in, you can just play. You can play forever. So just, you know, a really quick video today just going over some of uh, the hacks to play BlueStack, set it up. As I said, if you have any questions, though, feel free to leave them down in the comments below to address them. Or if you want to join the Discord, we can have, you know, more in-depth conversation about how you like to set things up on BlueStacks. I know a lot of people have played based on that on blue stacks uh, people brought it up all the time in my chat during the stream so it, just, it was really cool to check out you know I, I was always confused on how do you you know how do you move the controls off with a mouse and keyboard but it's actually pretty easy to set up you can just click and drag and then use extra buttons to help you bat so pretty similar experience and I like it better too for streaming as well instead of getting a capture card you guys know my my streams sometimes are a little bit laggy with it disconnecting from my phone. Here, I can just record my screen. It's all up here, and it's good to go. So, with that said, though, we do have the base load. We're going to try to send things off, end things out on a possible Grand Slam. And let's see how we do here. Oh, he's actually able to get on base. So, no, uh, nothing crazy. And we unfortunately can't end things off with the Grand Slam, but hopefully this guide was useful. If you found it useful, you know, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, get subscribed if you have any other questions. Let me know in the comments below. But just more ways for you to play Baseball 9 out there. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace.